moment. Um, where is that? So, uh, did you complete it, tolerance, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. So, everyone, concentrate, everyone. Put the heading of exchange rate. Put the heading of exchange rate. Exchange rate. Exchange rate means, note it on note everyone. Exchange rate means it is the rate between any two currencies. It is the rate between any two currencies. Example, 1 USD equal to how many INRs? One USD equal to how many INRs? One Singapore dollar, SGD. Equal to how many INRs? Next line. It means, it means one currency equal to another currency. One is to one methodology. One currency equal to another currency. One is to one methodology. One Varma sir, please go on mute sir. Mohit Varma, please go on mute sir. One is to one methodology. Next line noted down. Next line noted down. Next line noted down. We will maintain the exchange rate. We will maintain the exchange rate. T code OB08. Everyone, uh, can anyone please read the note? Remaining people, check it out. Yes, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. Exchange rate. 
Exchange rate means it is the rate between any two currencies. Example, one USD is equal to how many INR? One Singapore dollar is equal to how many INR? It means one currency equal to another currency. One is to one methodology. We will maintain the exchange rate T code OB08. OB08. Everyone, concentrate everyone. So, for example, everyone, concentrate here, my dear students. I will tell you one story, everyone. I will tell you one story. Example, for example, who I am? I am RC10. Sorry, RM11, right? RM11. I am RM11. So, what is this RM11, everyone? RM11 is RM Steels Private Limited. This company located in which country? Located in India. Located in India. Everyone, concentrate here. So, this company, if you do the business only in India, this company, if you do the business only in India, all the purchases, sales, reports, everything. If you do the business only in India, even reports also we required only in Indian currency reports, then exchange rate maintenance is not required. Then exchange rate maintenance is not required. For example, this is the company do the business within India, then outside India also, one country to another country. Even this company will generate the reports, INR reports, then foreign currency reports also. That time we want to maintain exchange rate. Example, for this company, what is the local currency? Local currency is INR. Local currency is INR. For this company, purchase or sales. Purchase or sales. Example, this company purchases from Singapore. Purchases from Singapore. So on invoice currency, what is the document currency? SGD, Singapore dollar. Currency is Singapore dollar. SGD. So here, if you post, I want to post purchase document. So I am doing the purchases from which country? Singapore country. So in the Singapore, what is the currency? SGD. This company in India. So in India, which currency? INR. So what happened here? This purchase document will reflect reflected INR currency and as well as SGD currency. So you can generate the reports INR currency then as well as SGD currency. So in this case you want to maintain one is SGD equal to how many INRs. For example I am doing the sales. I am doing the sales to US, America, US. So now, now system want to calculate my local currency is INR. My local currency is INR. I am doing the sales to America. In America, how, what is the currency? USD. So system want to calculate one USD equal to how many INRs. Then only document entry will going to post. System want to calculate. Everyone following everyone? Yes, no, okay. What I'm telling? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Yes. So if you for example, if you if you do the business, for example, my company is in India. So if you do the business within India, if you generate the reports, only INR related reports, then not required exchange rates not required exchange rate. When you are doing the business, 
one country to another country. When you are doing the transaction, one country to another country. That time system want to calculate exchange rate. One SGD equal to how many INRs? One Singapore dollar equal to INR, how many INRs? One US dollar equal to how many INRs? One Europe currency equal to how many INRs? We are always comparing with our local currency. Compare with our local currency. So it is one is to one methodology. It is one is to one methodology, everyone. So my dear students, concentrate everyone. Concentrate here. So this three steps activity we have to do everyone. This three steps activity we have to do. Three steps activity. One is check exchange rate type. This is the standard step everyone. M means average rate, P means planning, B means bank selling rate. So M is average rate, rate between any two currencies. So my dear students, exchange rate means rate between any two currencies, local currency to other currency. For example, M, M is the standard for average rate. So in this step, you are not required to change anything not required to change anything. For example, let's go and check it out. Everyone, concentrate everyone. What is the path? What is the path and T-code to maintain exchange rate? Go to SPRO, enter here, ABAP platform, here, general settings, currency settings, here everyone. Check exchange rate. Define translation ratio for currency translation. Enter exchange rate. This is the path, everyone. This is the path. SPRO, SAP reference, IMG, ABAP platform, general settings, currencies, this one. Enter exchange rate, maintain exchange rate. I mean, sorry, check exchange rate type, define translation ratio for currency translation, then enter exchange rate. These three steps, everyone. Yeah. These three steps. So my dear students, in case how to see the T code, how I can see the T codes everyone for these transactions, for this transaction, go to additional information, additional information, display keys and IMG activities. In case if you want to see the T code, this is the path everyone. OB07, OBVS and uh, OB08. Here you can maintain the exchange rate. So my dear students, first step, check exchange rate type. So here you people not required to change anything. You people not required to change anything. This is the standard step. M is the average rate. So you just double click on this execute button, check exchange rate type. And here M is the average rate. Standard, it is under standard average rate. Even here, P is the plannings. If you go down, there is a P, P for the plan cost. So the plan cost will come on the CO, not required now. You can take M, M for the average rate. So this screen, you are not required to change anything. You can use M for average rate. Then one, one more. Next is Step. Define translation ratio for currency translation. So what is the ratio here? Here ratio is 1 is to 1 methodology. 1 is to 1 methodology. 1 USD equal to how many INRs? 1 SGD equal to how many INRs? 1 Euro equal to how many INRs? 1... Uh, Britain found equal to how many INRs? So we are comparing.
comparing local currency to other currency local currency to other currency so here one is to one methodology one currency equal to another currency so let's maintain one is to one methodology so same path everyone same path uh, abapur platform general setting currency setting here define translation ratio for currency translation so you just double click on this execute button double click on this execute button and click on here yes this is not a error everyone this is not a error okay and it is just for the warning click on here yes click on here new entry here you want to maintain one is to one methodology i'm repeating once again for my satisfaction listen 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 everyone concentrate here concentrate here don't feel bored listen so we want to maintain one is to one methodology to so come to this path and double click on this execute button click on your yes and click on your new entry click on your new entry here exchange rate type m m is the average rate and from and to from and to means usd to inr today example today one is to one methodology press enter m average rate so what is that and sgd yes gd yes gd singapore dollar equal to inr today example date means today date valid from today date one is to one methodology same way like this like this you want to maintain like this you want to maintain m and uh, e u r to i n r press enter and today m what is that everyone uh, tell me any currency gbp gbp britain pound to inr today and uh, one is to one methodology press enter and save so here the target is ratio from and ratio to now we need next step is we want to maintain the exchange rate m is the average rate one usd to uh, usd to inr one is to one methodology sgd to inr one is to one methodology click on here save click on here save now, now the very 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 important very 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 important is enter exchange rate enter exchange rate everyone are you following my dear students yes no okay yes sir yes sir yes yes sir enter exchange rate very 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 important so in case if you want to understand more what is mean by exchange rate you can go through this you can go through this okay exchange rate you can go through this okay whenever you have the time just go through this okay i will get more information about exchange rate no sir we understood then we want to maintain how to maintain what is the t code t code is called ob08 so enter exchange rate double click on this execute button click on your new entry exchange rate type m m today today and uh, here from usd to inr how many rupees everyone usd how many rupees one usd today how many check in google anyone please 83.5 83.5 huh? yes enter and uh, m today and uh, uh, yes gd equal to how, inr how many rupees everyone 
one SGD, how many rupees? Sixty one point six Sixty one point. Let it be sixty two rupees. Enter. Then M today one E U R equal to how many INRs? Tell me everyone. U uh, U R Euro. How many rupees? 90.13 90.13 let it be 91 rupees example example anyway. and one more m today g b p g b p i n r how many Britain found? How many rupees everyone? 104. 104, ah, madam? Not 4.63. One not, let take 105. Okay. Even you can maintain points like whatever paisa you can there, you can maintain. Example, I maintain some specific figure. Okay. Press enter and save. Press enter and save. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Note it on one note, everyone. Exchange rate. Exchange rate. Every day will going to change. Exchange rate. Every day will go going to change. Next line noted down. In the real time, in the real time, In the real time, not required to maintain exchange rate manually. E code will be zero eight. OB08, this whatever screen you are seeing now, this is not required to enter manually. Next line, note it down. Based on the ABAPR program, ABAPR will write the program, okay? One new program. Hello, hi. Based on the ABAP program, ABAPR will write new program, everyone. Based on the ABAPR program, exchange rate, exchange rate, update automatically. Exchange rate update automatically. As a functional consultant, as a functional consultant, we want to verify we want to verify t code 
वो भी जीरो एट एक्सचेंज रेट अपडेटेड प्रॉपरली और नॉट नेक्स्ट लाइन ड्यूरिंग द आई मीन नाउ इन द प्रैक्टिसिंग पर्पस इन द प्रैक्टिसिंग पर्पस एक्सचेंज रेट वी वांट टू मेंटेन मैन्युअली नेक्स्ट लाइन नोटिड डाउन नेक्स्ट लाइन ओके नेक्स्ट लाइन नोटिड डाउन इन द प्रैक्टिसिंग पर्पस वी वांट टू मेंटेन एक्सचेंज रेट मैन्युअली manually okay or manual last point put the star and note it down last point put the star and note it down exchange rate at client level Exchange rate at the client level. Exchange rate at the client level. If one student maintain exchange rate. it will be reflected for all the company codes if one student or one user if one user will maintain exchange rate it will be reflected for all company codes it is at client level global level Done, everyone. Noted. Yes, sir. Ma'am, can you read the note, ma'am? Remaining people, check it out. Sir, uh, exchange Anyone? rate. Please, yes, please. Exchange rate. Every exchange rate every day is going to change in the real time. Not required to maintain exchange rate manually. T code OB zero eight. Based on the ABAPER program, exchange rate update automatically. As a functional cons consultant, we want to verify the T code OB zero eight exchange rate updated properly or not. In the practicing purpose, exchange rate we want to maintain manually. Exchange rate at client is at client level. If one student or user maintains exchange rate, it will. Reflect at all company code. It is at client level or global level. Okay, yeah. So everyone, so exchange rate. Do you want write everyone? Do you want write this screen? Not required, na? Do you want write this? Whatever screen you are seeing. 
So everyone, exchange rate. Exchange rate means it is the rate between any two currencies. It is a rate between any two currencies. Example, one USD equal to how many INRs? One Singapore dollar equal to how many INRs? One Euro equal to how many INRs? One GBP equal to how many INRs? So the means basically in the practicing purpose, you have to maintain manually exchange rate. In the real time, this, this screen, whatever you are maintaining manually, na, this screen will reflect this exchange rate will reflected automatically. This reflected automatically. For this purpose, ABAPR will write new program during the implementation project. So as a, we are the functional consultant. FICO consultant, MM consultant, SD consultant, we are the functional consultant. So we want to verify manually. Go, go to OB08. We need to verify all the exchange rate updating properly or not. I mean, daily ones, weekly ones, monthly ones, or day by day, like that. Whenever you have the time, you need to verify manually the exchange rate updating properly or not. In case it is, it is your roles and responsibilities. Okay, click on here, save and back. Now questions, questions, please. Questions, please. Please ask the questions. Everyone, please ask the questions, please, one by one. No questions. Can I go ahead, next step? Yes, no, at least. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. <clears throat> Now, everyone, now define maximum exchange rate difference for company code OB, OB64. Define maximum exchange rate for company code OB64. So, what is this? What is this? Before going to this, I can ask one question. What is meant by tolerance, everyone? What is meant by tolerance? Tolerance, Bolito? Sacrifice. Sacrifice the value. Means, tolerance means, don't tell directly sacrifice the value. Tolerance means, we are going to set up one limit. Up to that limit, we are we go to sacrifice the value, making the payment. It will be reflected on during the payments. Same to same way, everyone. Tolerance means we are going to set up one limit. System will going to sacrifice up to that limit during the payment. Same to same. Same to same, everyone. During the exchange rate, during the exchange rate differences, any exchange rate differences. So here, here, everyone, here. Define maximum exchange rate differences. Here also we will maintain one percentage in this step. Everyone concentrate here. In this step, here also we will maintain one percentage. Any exchange rate differences up to that percentage system will going to allow. More than that percentage system cannot allow. I'm repeating once again. I'm repeating for my satisfaction. I'm repeating once again, every. I'm repeating once again, my dear students. Tolerance means tolerance means any payment differences. Tolerance means we will set up one limit. Up to that limit, any payment differences system will going to sacrifice. System going to allow. Here, here define maximum exchange rate difference means here also we will maintain one percentage or one limit any exchange rate differences up to that limit system can allow more than that limit system cannot allow clear clear so far yes no okay yes sir yes sir. so either you can go to this path SPRO, financial accounting, financial accounting, global setting, global parameters for company code, currencies, maximum exchange rate differences, define exchange rate for company.
अपने कोड आइधर यू कैन गो टू दिस टी कोड आल्सो वो भी सिक्सटी फोर एज योर विश आइधर यू कैन गो टू थ्रू पाथ और आइधर यू कैन गो टू थ्री टी कोड फॉर एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल एवरी वन लेट इट बी यू आर दी डेलाइट कंसल्टेंट एग्जाम्पल यू आर दी डेलाइट एम्प्लॉय डेलाइट एम्प्लॉय एज ए कंसल्टेंट यू आर दी डेलाइट एम्प्लॉय एज ए कंसल्टेंट यू आर इंप्लीमेंटिंग आर एम ग्रुप ऑफ कंपनी सी आर एम ग्रुप ऑफ कंपनी सो यू इज दिस आर एम ग्रुप ऑफ कंपनी यूर क्लाइंट सो यूर क्लाइंट विल बी टेल यू Your client will be tell you everyone. Your client will tell you how much percentage you have to maintain. So don't tell, don't take your own decision. Don't take your own decision. Your client will going to confirm maximum how much limit you have to maintain. Maximum how much limit you have to maintain. Okay. So accordingly, you need to maintain. So here, here also we will maintain one limit. Or one percentage, one percentage we will maintain. Any exchange rate differences up to that percentage, system can allow. More than that, system cannot allow. Let it be clear. Okay. Let it be. Go to OB OB sixty four. T code is called OB sixty four. So slash and go back. OB sixty four. Enter. then uh, click on your position company code rm11 here everyone here so this is the company code here you can read maximum exchange rate differences maximum exchange rate differences here you can observe here here you can know maximum difference between exchange rate here you can see this observe my card sir here we want to maintain one percentage Example ten percentage max to max ten percentage. Example ten percent. But your client will be tell you for company code two company codes. Click on your save. Click on your save. Okay. Next question. Next one. Company code global parameters. Company code global parameters. Example, everyone. Example, I will tell you one thing, everyone. Very, very important. I will tell you one thing, everyone. My dear students, concentrate, everyone. If you joined any company, if you joined any company, first you have to verify. How many company codes in that company, and what is the global parameters they maintain? What is the global parameters they maintain? Example, example, everyone. You people joining the class, first class onwards, you people know what is the chart of accounts, what is the fiscal year variant, what is the field status group, what is the posting period variant. what is the local currency you people know example today one new student is joined example today one new student is joined that student want to understand for rm11 rm11 what global parameters we maintain so we don't want to verify all the steps right it will take lot of time it will take lot of time once new student is joined he want to verify for this company code what global parameters we maintain what global parameters we maintain clear clear so far are you understand wow. means what you are saying are you understanding everyone Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. So here, everyone. So this is the T code. T code is called O B Y six. O B Y six is verify the global parameters for specific company code. For example, let's go this. 
go to uh, OBY6. Go to OBY6. Press enter and uh, click on your position. Enter your company code RM11 and double click on your company code. Here you can observe everyone. Here you can observe. This is the company code. This company code in which city and which country? What is the local currency? Which language they are following? And what is the chart of accounts? global parameters controlling area fm area i mean financial year and field status variant posting period variant maximum exchange rate deviation you can observe all the things everyone you can observe all the things okay and even if you want to activate any new things here example negative posting permitted negative posting permitted manage posting period you can allow even business area wise financial statement business area wise financial statement propose fiscal year so you can activate if you want any radio buttons and all click on your save so like this you have to verify for specific company code what global parameters they maintain what global parameters they maintain for example each t code we are unable to verify now what chart of accounts and all so this is the best t code everyone in the real time we can use many times So it's going to browse. Yeah. So same way, check other different company code also. RM112, RM12, here also same thing. Based on your assignment, all the things will going to update everyone. So one more global parameters is there everyone. One more global parameters is document type and number ranges. So document type and number ranges will come everyone. Maybe here document type and number ranges will come. Wait for uh, some more days. Okay. So uh, note, it down, uh, note it down everyone. Put the heading of new GL concepts. So global parameters is completed. Document type and number ranges will come later. Put the heading of new GL concepts. New GL concepts. Note it on. First concept is document splitting. Document splitting. Next one, parallel accounting. Parallel accounting.
profit center and segment reporting. Profit center and segment reporting. Next one is called FICO reconciliation. FICO reconciliation. Yeah. Uh, any questions, everyone? Any questions? 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 So, everyone, see, uh, tomorrow, a lot of students are traveling, actually. Okay. So, for uh, vote, Monday is uh, election day. So, my dear students, so other people also must go and travel. Kindly vote everyone. Okay. So, tomorrow, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, no class. And basically, I want to take tomorrow also class. But uh, some students are requested, sir, we are traveling. Uh, then we can. So, okay, that's fine. Uh, tomorrow, go and travel. Day after tomorrow, must vote. Please join the class on Tuesday. Clear? Clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you.